You've got some of the big five. You've got the fish eagle. I've seen three different pairs within the estate. It is possible that we do have a nesting pair within the estate, close to the VOP ponds. The fish eagle is a fish-eating bird. It can go for crabs and other things, but it needs water. That's where its prey items come from. They are territorial when it comes time for breeding. One of the very interesting characteristics is that they will lock talons and tumble all the way to the ground. And the first one to let go is generally the loser. Fish eagle, if they're breeding, might be pushing the cormorants and the herons out of one fig tree down in the main lake. Because of all the tilapia and other fish in the ponds, with all the nutrient and rich soils from the golf course and housing all around, they like this place. One of the other interesting birds that we do have on the estate is the Goliath heron, very often seen fishing in the VOP pond. They're very slow, they're very big birds, they breed every year. Goliath here and they've bred here for two years that I know of. They have two young. They are nesting down there by the Kauai Dam. They've got the Tongat River. And they've got all these lakes, but they've also got the Anshoti River. Tilapia and catfish. That's what the Goliath heron and the shegals would be going for. Tongart is their best breeding area. They need a lot of fish to produce too young. Herons breed in the winter and cormorants breed here in the summer. They swap. Zimbali has these beautiful ponds. There's no reason why there's other water nesting birds that shouldn't breed here if we gave the right habitat and platforms. We would then get things like spoonbills, sacred ibis, all the other birds that would form big heronry. That's really what this place is, just to show people. You can still have all the humans if you put the right opportunities for feeding, breeding, nesting and resting.